Do you feel like League of Legends recently just hasn't been very fun to you? That games have become almost stressful and you oftentimes just fight and not to lose instead for fun anymore? Well, you are not alone with this feeling. Many players and creators have stated their thoughts about the game recently, having become more and more competitive, even for more casual players. If you are tired of just wanting to play a few games in the evening for your enjoyment, but then it turns out to be either this one-sided obliteration of your team or this never-ending tug-of-war, where both parties just want the game to finally end and not to lose, so the hour you just put into this game wasn't wasted for whole. But the game still won't let you go after this, as you try to even it out with the next game, which you definitely win, you tell yourself, mostly ending up in another loss. You get thrown in a lobby with try-hard enemies, and of course, your teammates don't know how to play the game at all. We all know the deal. After such games you might think about quitting the game, at least for a while. Though actually you just want to play this MOBA a bit less with the hassle and enjoy it more. Maybe you once or twice thought about trying another MOBA, but learning a new game with hundreds of champions entirely from scratch would just turn out to be another hassle for you. So in the end you return to League. Well, it doesn't have to be like that anymore, because there is an upcoming MOBA on the horizon which makes it easy for new players to learn and join the game. This new MOBA will feature a total of 34 heroes to play, with more being added slowly over time, some also being similar to ones we know from League. This makes it very easy for new players to learn the different heroes and play the game a bit more laid back. Although it will also have a ranked mode, this game is aimed to be more casual and action based, as a big portion of its players play on console and it having crossplay enabled. Apart from the points I will tell you now, it is a kind of stripped down classic MOBA with traditional features and layouts, so you don't have to learn much new from scratch. Basically, if you played any other MOBA before, you'll feel right at home. The game I am talking about is Predecessor. Predecessor is a next-gen action-based MOBA, which is played from the third-person perspective and has maps that introduce verticality to the genre. This gives you a greater sense of immersion and makes the fights way more personal, as your perspective is quite literally in the fight. And talking about immersion and personal combat, I mean it in a way that you simply feel you are in this world. You look your enemy in the eye when fighting them, and dodging abilities feels like, if you remember, Kind of like when you were a kid and played dodgeball and you were the last person standing dodging multiple incoming throws at you. Like, I don't know if that's a common memory, but I do remember it and how it felt just super intense and exciting. This transfers to this game. As of most MOBA games being quite old and established, Predecessor brings in a breath of fresh air. As the best upcoming MOBA we've probably seen since the release of Dota 2. It's quite classic though, and sticks to important traditions like the known item shop system, unlike Paragon a few years back, which also tried to reinvent the genre by using a deck building card system, which has been an interesting idea, but ultimately failed to the superior item shop. Predecessor looking a lot like Paragon is no coincidence though. The game aims to relive and improve the game that previously had been developed by Epic Games, and it is indeed a successor of it. If you want to know more about the relation of this game with Paragon, you can watch this video linked in the top corner of the video. Then we also have the topic of money. You probably invested into League and you may not want to add another game breaking your bank with mesmerizing but expensive skins. Well, I can assure you that in Predecessor you won't have much opportunity or the will to purchase skins, at least not yet, as at the moment most skins for purchase are basic recolors and the better ones still being kept for the official release of the game. The game is more about the game itself. The playing experience than about anything else around it. Anything else like climbing an MMR or something like that. Because the ranked mode hasn't been released yet, although it is still coming, so if you are still into this competitive notch, that will definitely be possible as well in the near future. So you don't have to worry about getting invested too much or at breaking the bank. But overall it is kind of like just getting into this world, getting into these personal fights, which simply no other mobile really does like this game. The only other big MOBAs trying third person were Paragon, the previous attempt at this game, and Smite which is still around, though even Smite just doesn't get as immersive as Predecessor, which it just really draws you in. For example in Smite you can't even look up and overall the game is just way more 
cartoonish in its presentation and style. I would say Predecessor acts a bit more grown up with its presentation. Also a big point which makes the game feel more grown up than any other MOBAs there are is that there is very little sexualization of female heroes in this game. Like in most RPGs or MOBA games that are out there, the skins for the female characters often are like bikini armor which is kind of ridiculous if you think about the concept of armor and predecessor limits this very very much i think that's very grown up and a kind of bold move which i really respect the characters are designed in a way how they should be how they would dress themselves how they would fight in a world where they actually belong like this hero seraph is just in a complete bodysuit of armor which just fits her character very well the only few female characters in this game which are kind of more sexualized than others but still not as much like characters in other games are countess who is <laughs> kind of wears a latex bodysuit and Shimbi who is like a K-pop pop star or something like that. And for those characters, it still just fits their character, their narrative. Nothing over-sexualized like many other games. I could understand the point of people being, yeah, well, it's a game and it's supposed to just be for your enjoyment. But I find this way more grown-up perspective and making it more about the immersion way more respectable. And I like this game for that a lot more, actually. It's more like a RPG, like an open-world game, just a little bit smaller and and converted to a MOBA game. I mean it in a way that it plays a lot more like many other third-person games, like the new Assassin's Creed titles, for example, or other RPGs. I'm not the biggest RPG fan, so, so I'm not able to count as many now. But I would say it is comparable with grand open world games from the gameplay perspective. But transitioned to the tactics and gameplay of a mobile game, and I think this is just a really great combination. It feels very fun, it can be very competitive, it can be laid back and easy for some enjoyment in the evening, and still brings to this immersion of being in in this world, which most of the time only grand open world games can offer. Well, and obviously you'll have to learn to aim, get better with your aim, like in any other greater AAA title, unlike the point and click style you are used to from League. But for the major trade-off of the fun you're getting with this game, I would say this is absolutely worth it. So summed up, I would say Predecessor is a great alternative to League and this obviously counts for other mobs that lately feel too competitive as well. You obviously you shouldn't ditch your favorite game for Pred yet, as it is also still early in development. But trying something new can really help detoxing and finding the fun in MOBAs again. I already brought some friends who also were frustrated with their current League experience into Predecessor, and they have really enjoyed it so far. So if you too want a fresh MOBA experience that is a bit more casual and easy to get into, you maybe should try out Predecessor yourself. Currently it is still in paid early access, but it releases its own open beta already in March this year. Give it some time and just see if it is to your liking if you just want to enjoy a game and if it goes for you like it did for me, you won't want to stop playing. If you would now like to know when it is coming free to play and some further insights, you should watch this video. If you have any questions or thoughts, feel free to share them in the comments. Thank you for watching and have a beautiful day.